Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Uh, so Canelo UD12, John Ryder, we're going to get into all of that. We're going to break it down, let what tells what it means. Uh, before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog on all forms of social media. Quick Hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Uh, please also subscribe to our other channel, Texas boxing scene on youtube that's texas boxing scene on youtube um what's going on with this camera all right we should be good um all right so let's get into today's show um We're having crazy storms out there. I, I don't know if that's got something to do with the lightning footage, but um, all right. Let's get into today's show. Um, Canelo, Alvarez, so I'm taking two things from this fight, from this Canelo UD12 John Ryder. First, uh, Canelo is way past it. And two, John Ryder is tough as nails. And I, I want to get into this John Ryder is tough as nails thing, right? Because tough guys don't win fights, they lose them. Um, and that's how we know how tough they are. How much beating they can they take? And he took quite a beating. And and he and he gave shots back and you know he fought hard. He's just passed it. You know, uh Canelo's just passed it. And John Ryder isn't at that level. He's 32 and 6 now. John Ryder's not a bad fighter. Not bad fighters don't become undisputed world champions. Great ones do. He's not even close to that. So he's got a win over Danny Jacobs, which is a travesty. He's got a win over Zach Parker, where Zach Parker quit. Zach Parker broke his jaw, and he quit. Alabama Rodriguez, but Bam, Bam fought through it, um, and, and, and Parker didn't even try. He just quit right away. And he's got that's what he's got. And then he's got a, a um, decision uh, victory over Jacobs, which he clearly lost. He's got a loss to Rocky Feld, uh, Fielding. You know, he has, he's got a, a loss, a competitive loss to Caleb Smith, um, Jack Arnfeld, and now we're going all the way back. Uh, the, the other fights aren't even worth mentioning that so long ago. Um, but that's who he is, right? He's a guy that, that really doesn't have too many quality wins. And the wins that he has, Parker quit and, and, and Jacobs was a travesty. Uh, and Canelo, three, four, five years ago, would have destroyed that man. I mean, annihilated him. Um, Canelo today, he's past it. You know, I, I don't mean to insult the guy, nothing like that. Um, but clearly, he's past it. It's it's just. Not the best at Canelo anymore. You saw him getting hit on the inside. You know, it's not. It's just not that he couldn't finish him when he had him hurt in the fifth and the sixth and so on. He had him hurt a lot. You know, he still got skills. He still got power. It's just not what it was. And you can see that, right? Like, he just could, not only could he not finish him, he's getting hit on the inside. He's eating uppercuts, right? He's not moving. He He's stationary. The best of Canelo is long gone. Like, you know, he's losing it quickly. And if he wants to beat Bavol, if he wants to beat – because this is three subpar outings in a row. The loss to Bavol, the Triple G3 fight, which was not good, and this one, which was not good. Um, his best days are behind him. You know, I don't, I don't know what else to say. Where he goes from here is Bavol, I'm guessing. 
And, you know, there's a little bit of debate what that, you know, Bavol wants to fight at 68 and Canelo wants it at 75. So I don't even know what to make of that. Um, to me, it's tricky, right? Because Bavol beat him. Um, Bavol's the champion unless they go down to 68 and then Canelo's the champion. So I, I don't, Bavol wants to be the undisputed 168 pound champ. I, I think Bavol thinks if he can do that, he's a Hall of Famer. And maybe he is. Uh, Canelo wants to beat, wants to take Bavol's belt, right? He lost him at that. He wants to go up and beat him at 75. The problem is he's not beating him at 75. Those days are gone. It's it's done with at that level for Canelo, unless he can change himself into some different type of fighter, unless he can make himself a pure boxer who picks a couple spots here and there to exchange and train, try to win rounds that way, kind of like B-Hop did later in his career, right? Just be a pure boxer. And when he's short for the weight class, he's not the fastest guy in the weight class. I, I just don't know if that is going to translate for him. If he can beat some guys that way, he's not beating the best guys that way. He's not beating Benavides that way. He's not beating David Morrell that way. He's not going to 175 and beating Bavol that way. So he's he's in a tough spot. You know, can he fight Triple G again? Might be what we're looking at. <laughs> right? I mean... I, I, I don't see the, the names I just gave you at 175. At 168, he's not beating. He's not going up to 175 and beating Bavol. And he's not, it wouldn't be better than either. So, I mean, it, it's going to be tough for him. If he wants to keep his belt, he wants to keep this run going, he's going to have to really, really start handpicking opponents. And I'm not one who says he's a cherry pick in the past. I'm saying right now, this fight, he's past it. He, he's not, you know, how many, this is what? He, he, how many wins does he have now? 59? 59, two and two. 63 fights. 63 fights into his career. Yeah, his best days are behind him. It was a heck of a career. First bout, Hall of Fame career. I'm coming out with my top 50 fighters from the top 50 years. He's, he's well on that list. You know, top half of that list, obviously. Great career for Canelo Alvarez, but now is on the decline. Can he do something special? Can he do something spectacular in this late run of his career? Let's find out. But right now, uh, like I said, there's two takeaways from that fight. Ryder is tough as nails, as tough as a gum. You guys want to talk about where Ryder goes for you, right? Because Ryder's in a similar situation. Ryder's a good fighter. He'll be in good fights, but he's going to lose to good fighters. He's not going to beat good fighters unless he gets a highway robbery decision like he did against Jacobs. Yo, who do you want to see him against next? Beck the Bully? You want to see him fight Beck the Bully? I'd like to see that. I'll leave the names, thoughts, who you'd like to see him fight. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, but that's my thoughts on this fight. Canelo just doesn't have what he used to have. I'm not saying Canelo's a bum. Canelo's going to lose to whoever, right? He's still going to beat most guys at 168. This is the top couple of names. He's not beating the top names at one at 168 or Bavol at 175. And I didn't ever think he was beating better beef. Uh, but let me know what you think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow quick. Uh, follow three boxing on all forms of social media. Quick hits comes at you every day, eight to ten minutes a day to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Please also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. It is now May 6, 2023, from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.